Well, okay, everybody. <coughs> it's nighttime up here in Montana, and uh, I thought I'd uh, throw out this video and try to get as much of this as I could on film without making it sound look too bad. But so far, it looks pretty decent coming on the camera here. Uh, what I've done so far is I put the corner pieces in, uh, these things here, put those in, and then uh, I also did uh, the uh, the, the nose cone here did that too and I'm going to eventually put the uh, other end of the uh, cone on and it's going to go at an angle and the reason that is, is so that way the turning that, that as the tires turn they're not going to collide if I go out further then I'll have collision with the tires and I don't want to do that so it's going to be coming down more at an angle like this um, and it'll be detachable so I'll be able to take the thing off um, also, let's see here, what else did I do? Uh, I put on this large panel back here, like I showed you in the last movie. Um, it, uh, it's 18 gauge, and I did the, uh, the framing. I don't know if this will be able to, you'll be able to see this, but the, the framing is all half inch angle iron. Um, yeah, it's real, not too bright in here, but uh, yeah. Uh, but anyways, um, uh, I also did the wings uh, on the car itself. It's got a, it's got wings on the, on the car, and the wings will go like this. And I don't know if uh, the wings will be on there like that. And um, real simple idea. These the wings are just 20, 20 gauge uh, with a half inch. Um, angle iron underneath uh, with a fold over little flange to it and then I've got the piece of flat stock flat stock welded there and then the bars um, those are just simple uh, I've just got a uh, I've got a three-quarter inch uh, rod uh, yeah it's three-quarter inch tubing I have a washer on the inside that's actually tack welded to the other side uh, and a bolt going through it and connecting it to the plate uh, to the wing and then this is just tubing here and it's just flat this is just a solid rod with you know feet welded onto it and then I painted it up so uh, that's that's the wings there and uh, I'll have this uh, my, the, the, the total finished product will be all pimped out. I'll have, you know, like I told you in the last video, uh, the corners uh, inside, the square areas, uh, I'll have battery banks in there and I'll have LEDs on this. It'll be all pimped out. It'll be for the electric start. I'm also going to have a stereo set up inside here too. And, um, yeah, so uh, I also uh, made these portions here solid so they're not going to be vibrating. Um, I'm going to have the whole, the whole, all the paneling is going to have uh, little strips, um, little rubber strips that, that outline the whole paneling uh, because this is sharp and it's not safe. So I'm going to have uh, the stripping going all the way around it. Um, I have uh, also, when I first initially decided to start building this up last winter, I um, started doing all the research and everything to build it up started building it in a CAD program and so um, uh, I've uh, decided that what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the designs for this and uh, in the CAD program and convert them over to PDF files and make it so that way uh, people will be able to build these at home uh, with my plans. Um, and I'll tell you what, it's, it's, it's exciting. Uh, when I first started a lot of people didn't believe that I'd be doing it and um, a lot of people just, you know, they didn't believe that I could do it and that I would do it, but I ended up doing it, and now they're coming over, and <laughs> it's, it's kind of a long story, but, um, yeah, I got, when I take this thing out and drive it around, and I got neighborhood kids running outside wanting to ride in it, and they always come over and climb around on it and everything, so that yeah, definitely gives you attention, I tell you that much. Um, I've been doing the research for little under a year now and I'll tell you you're not gonna find plans to build something like this anywhere I'm the guy uh, when I first started doing it um, I started looking around on the internet for plans to build a, a, 
uh, you know, Batmobile tumbler go-kart, you know, that's what I wanted to do, and nobody had it. And it ended up being that I ended up being that guy. So, as it is right now, I'm the only guy out there who's got the plans to build one of these bad boys, and I'm going to be selling them. So, those of you who are my subscribers, you people will be getting first dibs when I decide to do it. Uh, it'll probably be about anywhere between two to three weeks, you know, by the time I get everything all up to par and get the get the cat all done. Um, uh, the my subscribers, uh, you guys, uh, I'll have uh, you guys will be uh, I'll be offering it to you guys for about 45 bucks. Uh, other than that, it'll be on eBay for 60. So um, now that offer only happens, and it will only last for about. Uh, I don't know, 48 hours after I post that my next video. My next video will be me saying, okay guys, I've got the, the you know, posting you and telling you what you're going to need to do if you want plans to build these, to build one of these for yourself. Uh, so, eagerly wait for that and for my next video. And, um, um, uh, uh, what else was I going to say here? Um, other than, hmm. Oh, the video, the the schematics are going to have two things. Two are not going to have two things. One, the motor. That'll be up to you to decide to use. But I designed these plans, um, the, the frame and everything, to handle something up to about an 18 horsepower motor. If you're going to go above that, I would suggest that you uh, reinforce um, everything. <laughs> reinforce everything um, it'll be up to you uh, uh, but this this design is actually able to handle up to about 16 to 18 horsepower motor um, it'll be up to you to do uh, another thing that's not going to be in the schematics are all the standoffs all these things that put the paneling on uh, I know it's kind of a pain in the ass to do that but the reason is, is because if I were to put all the dimensions in and all the placement of where these standoffs go, people would build the chassis, they'd build, the, you know, they build the frame, then they'd build the standoffs, then they'd go get their sheet metal, they'd cut it, bend it, um, and then when they go to put it on, it wouldn't fit. And the reason it's not going to fit is because a lot of little things can go wrong um, when you bend sheet metal, any type of metal, it elongates, it gets longer. Um, that can screw things up. Um, if you use a brake press compared to just a, a, a simple little bender, that can make the difference between the round on your on your uh, sh piece of sheet metal. Uh, a lot of factors apply, and I don't want people going out there and buying two or three hundred dollars worth of half-inch uh, angle iron like what I used, and then put build the whole dang thing up, and then all of a sudden the panels don't fit. That'll be just a waste of money and a waste of time, and then you have to cut that crap off, or you're going to have to. Uh, extend them or whatever so I just decided to say listen you know just leave them out and there's enough information out there of this thing uh, for you to understand how it goes but also on top of that also by that time hopefully have a few little uh, tutorials on how to put the paneling on um, by that time so um, yeah but I tell you what people if, if, if you're a subs if you're somebody who's watching this for the first time I would suggest that you subscribe if you want to build one of these bad boys yourself, and um, it's uh, it's definitely exciting. I can tell you that much. So uh, you guys take it easy and um, and uh, <laughs> eagerly wait for my next video. <laughs>